Hi there, it's Louise with you today of Timeless Craft Mama and I'd like to share the first of the Scrapbook Boutique mood boards for 2017 with you and I've created a mixed media layout inspired by this board and I've titled it At The Beach. So I'm going to talk you through a couple of the processes that I've done for this layout and it's going to be a brutally honest video because I'm not particularly happy with this page. So realistically I should have left it as a um, probably just a plain paper based background but I started to play with some mediums and got a little bit out of control and it turned into something that I wasn't particularly happy with. I think I rescued it enough that it will still go into an album but it's not a page that I absolutely love. So the first thing I've done is I've gone through the Coco Vanilla Studio collections that I have in my stash and I've gone with a summer collection. So you can see a link on my blog to find this collection in the Scrapbook Boutique store and I've got the outside frame and the inside sunshine kind of layer. I've picked my photos and I have distressed around the edges of that main paper plus mounted it up on some cardboard just to give a bit of extra dimension. So you can see that I've added that layer of colour blast. Now I had an idea that around the outside of that um, sunshine sort of yellow paper I really wanted to add like a watercolour kind of background and I'm going to do that with uh, paints instead of watercolour and I'm really, this is at the point where I really didn't like how this page turned out. Um, so I'm going to add some more colour blast around the photo that I want to feature which is of course that um, long shot of Master C at the beach and going to start to build that background. So I've taken some acrylic paint and I've really watered it down. It was quite an intense colour so I ended up I watered it down much more um, just to get a colour that I was more um, comfortable with but still as you can see it's quite dark and it's not a very good match for that colour blast paste and it really didn't quite have the same effect of what I was looking for um, the image that I had in my head of this layout so I actually um, while I was working on this popped this aside and thought about it for a little while um, you know I considered changing the background as well to just pull that that background piece off and, and start all over again um, but I didn't do that because I wanted to show you how easy it would be to actually recover a layout if you ended up with something that you weren't comfortable with so I have left the page as I said in the beginning I'm not sure that I actually like it um, but I'm, I'm satisfied so um, I've let it sit for a couple of days and I've decided, okay, how am I going to rescue this background and turn it into a page that I actually do like? Um, so I'm going to use a sponge and just um, dampen some of that colour a little bit. And straight away I'm more happy with the way it looks. So I've gotten rid of some of that watercolour that I didn't particularly like um, just with the sponging of that white gesso and I'm going to add some yellow colour blast paste just to again add some dimension and give a little bit more texture into this page. Some yellow splatters again with acrylic paint just watered down um, and the the amount of water you add will dictate the size of the splatters you end up with. So the more water you add, the bigger your splatters will be. Now I've gone ahead and I still wasn't completely happy with the background page so I have actually um, stitched around that and I think that does sort of just make it a little less um, mixed media and, and just helps tidy it up a little bit. Again just my opinion you may love this page you may not so you know tastes for everybody are different um, but there's lots of technique in this video and I think it's a good example of a way to sort of rescue a page if you're not particularly happy. So the At The Beach I have cut using the brand new Silhouette Cameo um, and it's a cut file from the cut shop on Etsy um, and of course you can pick up your Silhouette Cameo from Scrapbook Boutique. 
I've got uh, my journaling there and because I was quite busy around the bottom section of this layout with the photos and the mixed media I decided to put that title centered at the top of the layout. I'm also going to add some stickers from an older um, Kazercraft sticker sheet and you can also see I've added a Coco Vanilla Studio um, Stay Cool flare there as well with a little bit of cotton at the back. So the final um, elements of this particular page are mostly just popping on some stickers and um, you know just the final embellishing stages. I think that you know um, as I've said the whole way through this video it's not a layout that I love um, but it's certainly turned out uh, better than what I thought it was going to be when I was going to have to um, completely redo that background you know and I think it's common for people to end up with pages in an album that sometimes you don't love you know I have quite often gone back and scrapped a page that uh, or a photo that I didn't particularly like so um, you know do what you're comfortable with and make sure that what goes in your albums is what you love so I hope that you have enjoyed that video from me. Um, the page is now finished and I really hope you'll get a chance to play along with our February mood board. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to check out Scrapbook Boutique for supplies used in this video.